though the entire process of Bhagavad and Ramana is that the moment that the I is there, where you are aware that there is a sense of I, there's where your sadhana begins. There's where your practice begins. What is this I? If there's a sense of I, what is this I? Whence? From where is this I? What is sustaining this I in the present moment? Right now, if there is a sense of I, where's that booger coming from? <laughs> See? Where is it occurring? Where is it going on? Where is it happening? How is it happening? You see? And you require that revelation. You require that insight to come forth, to be revealed. Isn't that still kind of looking and seeking? Well, you might say in a technical sense, but it, in a, it's in a technical sense that it's it's the it's the I'll, I'll call it the seeking that ends all seeking. <clears throat> you see, ordinarily seeking is an objective process. You see, it's from an I to an I. Okay. In geometry, they say the shortest distance between this point and this point, which is two points, is what? A straight line, okay? Now, what if you remove, this is two, this is one, and this is two. That's two, that's dual, huh? That's Dwight, okay? What if you make it a Dwight, not two, so that you put them together? Now, what's the distance? <laughs> There's no distance. Inquiry, let's say ordinary meditation is I meditating on a nada. Now, what's this nada? Well, it may be your mantra. It might be pranayam. It could be gazing on a light, thinking of your guru, thinking of God, or whatever. But there's an I meditating on a nada, on an other. Do we see this? But with inquiry, not two. Now you meditate on that one. The meditator. You get it? And now, none. No I. That's it. It's just that simple. It's immediate. It's here. It's now. No time. No space, no distance, no intervals that you have to go through, no purification, <laughs> no being good. No humbleness. I had humbleness. I thought I had to have humbleness. To None of that. I read it in the book. That's all in the mind. <laughs> now, all of that's very good for living in the world. Do we get that? Being humble, being good. Being kind, being gentle, all of that is excellent for living in the world. You with this? It has nothing to do with enlightenment. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This, um, this addiction to the mind is so strong that even though we sit in silence and presence and here now, still, it goes back to that attachment. Yes. It does appear that way, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> what to do with that? Is... Well, just quit reinforcing it. Quit buying into that whole notion. When you say, oh, this addiction is very strong. Yeah. Well, what does that do? <laughs> Doesn't that just reinforce the addiction? But can you show me your mind? Show it to me. Okay. Again, it's the same with the body. You have a mind. You're not your mind. See? You have thoughts. 
you're not your thoughts. You're prior to your thoughts. You're the witness of your thoughts. Well, that which you can witness and see is over there. You're here. So you're not your body. You're not your body or your mind. So don't buy into the fact that, the, that, that it's a, a strong habit. It used to be a strong habit. It's no longer a strong habit if you if you don't continue to identify with it as a strong habit. You see? Because again, just like the body, it's nothing but a thought. That's all that it is. Bhagavan called the mind a bundle of thoughts. It's all just a bundle of thoughts. Now, what's the primal thought that holds though, all of those thoughts together? See? What's the thread that holds all of those thoughts together? What thought is that? You know? The eye. Yeah. Yes, the eye. The eye. Cut the eye, and it's like beads. They all fall away. <laughs> Cut the eye thought. Yes. What does love have to do with this? What does love have to do with it? Everything and nothing. You are love. The self is love. Just be love. <clears throat> now, if you are love, then you're going to be loving. If you don't realize that you're loved, then start off by being loving. Love is beneficial for enlightenment. That's bhakti. That's the way of devotion, love. But ask, who is loving? Who loves and who is loving? Do we get it? Go ahead and feel right now. Feel your own being. Can you feel your own being? Can you feel that you are? Do you know that you are? <laughs> now, if you know that you are, who is? What is? That's what you're looking for. Now, how far you got to go to find that? How long do you have to look to find that? And what do you have to do to quit looking for that? But just simply be that and not be distracted by anything else. Not be distracted by all the looking. In this very moment, right now, you are that. We are that. It's just the very feeling that I am, first person, first person, singular, I am. <clears throat> you don't have to go any further than that. First person, singular. Just let go. Just simply let go. Right then, just let go. Let go and be this I am. That you are. See? True freedom. True freedom. Freedom now. Peace, freedom, and happiness. That's what it's all about. Right now. Why didn't I meet you long ago? <laughs>